Well, this is it, you guys. We're leaving Lola's farm. We're leaving Panama, saying goodbye to the cows, saying goodbye to the goats, saying goodbye to the dogs. If you hear any sounds of Sadie behind us. She's mooing. She's, she's telling the cows good morning. Ooh. What do you got to say? I'm gonna miss you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to David. First stop is Panama City. This is just a quick 45 minute flight and we'll be down on the ground in Panama City in no time. Do you want to read a book? Yeah. Do you want this one? A member of the Star Alliance. Look at all these boats waiting to go through the Panama Canal. <laughs> this time going back to the States feels very different. Feels like we're going back on a mission because we are. We're going to open up the roastery, going to open up we're going to open up a cafe and a coffee roastery, growing our business. Feels Crazy, it feels wild right now. Kaylee's has been absolutely smashing it today. Just been carrying around a 30 pound sleeping baby for the last couple hours. <laughs> I was really hoping we could time her naps so that they were on the plane, but hey, what can you do? Here we go, one more stop and we're back in Boston. It's now five hours later. We're just looking at the skyline of Boston. We're about to land, and in case you're wondering, Sadie absolutely crushed it. Absolute A plus. A plus. No crying, a lot of talking, a lot of brow, 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 brow. <laughs> she made friends with literally every single person that's sitting around us right now. That was an awful landing. Of all the flights I've ever been on, hands down the worst landing I've ever had. That was pretty sketchy, but regardless, welcome back to the United States. First person we saw told Kaylee that her flashlight was on, said it in English, Kaylee responded in Spanish. <laughs> it's always a thing for like the first like day or two. <laughs> Smell that, honey? That's the smell of Boston, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the moon over there right now. So beautiful. You wanna know something? The moon actually looks different in Boston than it looks in Panama. It looks way different. So even though we're back in the States, this adventure is not gonna stop. We have so much to do here, so much to see, so much to accomplish. So let's just pick this up tomorrow. Today, we're waking up in the suburbs and I gotta say, it does feel a little strange. <laughs> if you guys wanna see what running a business out of a house looks like, it looks a lot like that. It's just boxes <laughs> everywhere. I guess everywhere we go, it just rains. <laughs> It's downpouring here, but we're not here uh, for hanging out or relaxing. I mean, we're definitely gonna do that. This isn't a vacation. We're here on a mission. Say bye-bye, Grammy! Bye-bye! So we've been driving for almost four hours from central Massachusetts all the way up to almost northern Vermont to Stowe and it feels so surreal doing this drive right now because we have been fulfilling all of our coffee orders, basically running our whole coffee business out of Jordan's mom's house for the last three years. So driving up to our first official morning movement headquarters just feels unbelievable right now. There's so many emotions running through all of us. We have the whole caravan, me, Jordan, Sarah and TJ, Sadie and Lola of course, and we're gonna be arriving there real soon and we just can't freaking wait to just step foot inside of that space 
and just be there. <laughs> Alright, so here's the deal. We've been working on building out this roastery from Panama for the last <laughs> We've been working on we've been working on building out this roastery for the past year and we haven't stepped foot inside. The last time we saw this space, it was nothing but studs and an unfinished floor. And I'm sure you guys can imagine, we're all very excited, including Lola. And yeah, we haven't seen this yet, so we're all gonna experience this together. Oh my God. Hi, Lola, go ahead, go ahead. He all of that by hand. That's insane. Not that, look at this. Oh, you Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Check it out. <laughs> Look at all of our hard work, dude. Look at all of our hard work. There it is. All right, everything feels pretty overwhelming right now, as I'm sure you can imagine. We've been looking at photos and videos and thinking about this place now for a long time. And it feels like that we're just taking a huge step right now in something that we've put so much effort and time and love uh, into. And yeah, we're actually sleeping in here tonight because we're moving into an apartment tomorrow and it's not ready yet. So we're all saying how this is something that we're really looking forward to is crashing in the roastery space. And uh, yeah, just spending the whole night hanging out in there. All right, so it's been a few days since we talked to you guys last and a ton of stuff has happened and a ton of progress has happened. As you can see from behind me, we have this brand new countertop that just got put in. And we're also finally moved in here. We're not sleeping in the roastery over here like we were before. We have a temporary place we're staying in until Kaylee and I get our new tiny house. But I don't wanna to talk too much about that. That's gonna be for a future video. Right now, this is all about the roastery in this space. For those of you guys that have missed part of this story, I was laid off from my corporate marketing job in 2017. I was looking a lot different back then than I look now. And I was also kind of, I feel like I was a totally different person. But since that moment, since walking out of that office building, I've been on this mission to never ever go back. The two of us knew that in order to make it on our own, we had to start our own business and we had to build something that was ours. And since 2017, We've tried to do that over and over again. The first thing that we did was we started a candle business where we'd pick up bottles, we'd pick up trash along the side of the highways and turn them into candles. We'd cut the tops off, we would clean the bottles out, we'd fill them with the scented wax, we'd package them up really nice, and we ran that whole business out of our bus. And that really, that really just allowed us to keep going. And when the candle business didn't work out, it was it was too much work for a 90 square foot school bus. We tried other things. We tried to make bracelets, we tried to make necklaces, and we started a little jewelry company, and that didn't really work out too good. So then we started making our own music and recording our own music and recording it and selling it, and that didn't work out too good because we just weren't really that good. And that's kind of been our journey through the United States and Central America is just like, trying to find our way and building our own business to support ourselves. And then we kind of fell into this coffee thing and it was really just pure luck. Our coffee business, The Morning Movement, was really our fourth try at building our own brand. And after failing over and over again, we learned so much along the way on that whole process. And we were able to take all that knowledge that we had and put that into this. And we've been working on building this coffee business for the last three years now. So being here, having our own space, having all of our own gear, having just all this coffee behind me. This is 6,000 pounds of coffee. We're just ready to go. We're ready to get this thing up and running. It's been such a journey to get here. It just feels so good to just be sitting on this big pile of beans and just looking at everything that we've accomplished and everything that we've done. And um, yeah, it just feels surreal. So even though we got all this work stuff going on, all this business stuff going on, you guys know we fully embrace the work hard, play hard mentality. <laughs> so now it's time to go and play. 
We're going to the woods. After our first week being here, just grinding away and checking off a bunch of stuff on our to-do list for our soon-to-be morning movement headquarters up here in Stovermont, we decided to kick off our first weekend at a concert in the middle of the woods in upstate New York with some of our best friends in Sadie, of course, and we had the most magical time. And the next time you guys will be seeing us, we will actually be announcing some pretty crazy but very, very exciting news. So stay tuned, we love you all so much, thank you so much for all your support, and we can't wait to see you guys next time.